we have been seeing some uh progress i should say after many moons of uh at least trying to get the ceasefire going and they are trying their best not uh to make sure that the u.s don't get anything out of this and whatever it may be because i remember just not even a week ago russia had turned down uh, a ceasefire deal and once i read the actual bill i'm like this this isn't a ceasefire this is more like a hold on let me get my shit together and i'm going to continue to kill you you know or i should say yesterday russia also tried to sneak in permanent ceasefire but of course, that didn't work. <laughs> of course, that didn't work. But I'm glad to see that somebody is actually trying to do, uh, pull a permanent ceasefire. And this is it, it, it's what we need. I remember I had made a video uh, a couple months back when this was all first going down. And people keep on saying, we need a ceasefire. We need a ceasefire. I'm like, that's not enough. That's not enough. I'm, I'm sorry. But this is a good thing right now, but do not treat this like how the white people in Black Lives Matter did when Joe Biden got elected, right? Oh, we got a ceasefire. That's the end of it. No, no more, no more protesting. No more talking about it on your Twitter. No more talking about it on your TikToks. This is it. We got our ceasefire. We're going home. No, this is just the beginning. And if you will read the bill, it's not for that long. For everybody that's just joining, please hit that like and share button because you know we, we need all the help that we can get. Revolutionary Blackout has been in a chokehold. They have had our page in a chokehold. And I know a lot of our haters say, oh, well, they stopped growing and they start doing this and talking shit. Like, no, that's not the problem. Our rhetoric been the same. We have been the same ever since we have started this news organization. The thing is, YouTube just don't like what we are saying. So they put our they put our channel in a chokehold. They make sure that we can't reach certain spaces. They make sure that certain people that have been not only subscribed to our YouTube, but to subscribe to our Patreon. They 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 are throwing the hammer at RBN. So we need everybody uh to move as a unit here at RBN. Hit that like button, hit that share button, uh, uh take your parents' phones. Subscribe to RBN on their phones. <laughs> Take your old boomer parents' phones. If they are liberal-minded, if they are conservative-minded, if they are bigoted in, in any, kind, any kind of way, take their phones. Subscribe to RBN. We're going to need all the love and all the support and uh, and the new faces. Good looking to my brother JB helping me out. I mean, uh, uh, JB helping me out with the stream and CJ helping me out, making sure everything goes straight because, as you guys know, I'm still kind of, you know, new to this. I got to get back on a bike and um, put some training wheels on that motherfucker. But we back we back on. Okay, share screen. Because this is history, y'all. This is history. This is, this is something beautiful. But it's just the beginning. So please do not treat this like Biden just got elected and go back to your homes and act like children with... Uh, uh, they stopped the killing of children. They stopped the, the raping and killing of women. This is just the beginning, so here it is out. Will those in favor of the draft resolution contained in document S-2024-254 please their, raise their hand? Fuck bitch. Those are against. Abstention. <laughs> the result of the voting is as follows. 14 votes in favor, zero vote against, one abstention. <laughs> the draft resolution has been adopted as resolution 27-28-2024. <laughs> oh, oh, and we have so many fucking Zionists melting down all over the fucking internet. Oh my God, no! America is officially a uh, 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 enemy. <laughs> they are enemy of Israel. I wish we was. 
I earnestly wish that we were an enemy of Israel because you guys would have been wiped the fuck off of this fucking map. Y'all ain't even bigger than fucking New York. And you causing more damage to the world. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you see these motherfuckers? Even, even the vice president, the uh, 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 ex-vice president. Oh, well, this is, this is despicable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there were actual appall because as if you guys have been keeping up with this, this has been they have been trying to push something through for fucking months now. When this shit first started, they have been trying to get a ceasefire. They had to go to the international courts to call it a genocide just to get here where we are at today. Yes, people were applauding because they are fucking tired of the bloodshed. They are tired of the genocide and they want to stop it. These are countries that don't even that, that are not even close to the Middle East, China. And you know what I'm saying? But everything has a, uh, has the cause and effect. And yes, you think you would think that the shit that's happening in, uh, in Palestine wouldn't have an effect here. But yes, it does. Yes, it does. From our politics to our, our politicians, our police officers, yes, it always come back around. This is why I always remind you guys, if you're not going to fight for it all, don't fight at all. Because what you what you are doing is you are putting a, a, a spotlight on one thing while these niggas got me in the dark with a full Nelson, punch me in my stomach and my face, and you got and you got the spotlight on one thing. No, we shine the light on it all. We shine the light on it all because everybody needs this fucking light. Everybody needs this time. Everybody needs to fucking speak up. What is the U.S. complaining about? They still got Zion. See, this is what I'm talking about. They can't, they can't even, they're not even sore winners. Because no matter what happens, APAC, hold on, let me find this fucking. They're not even sore winners. They are still getting paid by APEC. They will continue to get paid by APEC. It doesn't matter who they put in that office. They're not even fucking sore winners. So all these fucking Zionists crying. Hold on, where am I violating that? <laughs> it's, it's, it's real small. It's real small. Hold on, here it go. <laughs> you sad because kids won't get killed for two fucking weeks? Two fucking weeks. That's all this shit is. It's not a permanent ceasefire. Now, what would happen next is Israel will not comply. We know this. It is a fascist state. They do not believe in international law. They have told us this before, and they will violate. Now, watch this. Let me share my screen one more time with you guys. Seem more uh, professional, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Breaking Colombia uh, calls nations worldwide to break relations with Israel if Israel violates the newly adopted UN ceasefire. See, this is something that even a dumbass like me can see coming from a mile away. But we have to have some type of rules and regulations on these people. Hey, if you violate, no more funding. If you violate, all gloves are off. This is the leadership that we need today. So shout out to uh, uh, to Colombia for calling for this because we need to put their backs against the wall. We have seen what President Biden, oh, let in the fucking, let in the aid. And they are still blocking aid to this fucking day. Still blocking aid. Another fucking war crime. So why in the fuck would they give a fuck about UN with their peace treaties and their fucking ceasefires and all. No, the bill is only for two weeks, Bad Wolf. The bill, uh, the ceasefire is only for two weeks. So do not get your hopes up. Um. Oh, you trying to say with the with the real Slim Shady? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm the real motherfucking Slim Shady. But no, um, but the bill is only for two weeks, you guys. So do not get your hopes up. Please stay on the ground. Please keep informing people. Please keep uh, uh, doing what you're doing because it is working, not only here in America, but across this world, across this globe. People hear us out. People are hearing you. It might take them longer, 
It might take them longer, but they will get it because the more the, the more the shit goes on, the more it comes home. I'm telling you, just inform people what's going on. You don't have to fucking flip people every fucking time. Get out of that mindset of people are going to take things at face value. You know what I'm saying? Because you can tell me, bro, I got a million dollars for you right now. But you got it behind your back. And I'm like, where the fuck the million dollars at? And you're like, nigga, just trust me. Like, no, give people time, give people time, give people time. You got to remember, we are, <laughs> we were born in the West and education isn't the best thing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people look at this information and they like, nah, this can't be. My government isn't that fucking bad and blah, 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 whatever the fuck it may be. Just give people time because it took me a minute to even learn some of this shit my damn self, you know? And no matter how radical you are right now, you still have to learn shit your damn self. So don't don't uh press on people who don't get it, especially family members, especially your family members. If they don't get it, if they being hostile, throw your hands up, walk away, and preach around them. Because sometimes it might not be the message. Sometimes it might be the messenger, right? So you wouldn't want a nigga like me yelling at your motherfucking dad, or yelling at your grandma. But somebody like Sabby can relay the matches, the matches way better, right? Sometimes it'd be the messenger. So if you can't get them, go around them. Go get their children. Go get their husbands. Go get their wives. And then when they come back, they bring that shit home. And now you planted seeds in their family brains and they, they might catch up. 